a local school district seriously strapped for cash makes a crucial vote tonight. I hope well city and school leaders vote against cutting all student sports programs. That was something they thought they might be forced to do. Our Jarita Patterson was there for tonight's vote. Rather than cutting programs that involve our young people, we should be working to create programs. Here inside Hopewell High School Thursday evening, hundreds gathered to hear whether or not sports and gifted programs would be a thing of the past. My heart is beating out of my chest. It took just a matter of moments for Hopewell Council members to calm the nerves of those anxiously waiting to hear if the programs would survive. As the council announced the proposed cuts would not happen for the next school year. I was excited. I wanted to jump up and down and scream. Considering Hopewell High senior Brandon Young is hoping for a sports scholarship for college. Right now I'm looking at Longwood and Richard Bland. My goal is to be a lawyer in Harvard University from and graduate from Maggie Walker. Future plan, seventh grader Tamara Gosier feels she can now achieve. I was very happy and glad that my futures are now I might get to achieve in my life. This a much different mood and scene from Tuesday, but it was that showing of support some parents believe led to a positive outcome. Excited, very happy for the kids, for the future of my son even. But this happiness could be short lived as the council is not saying how long the programs will stick around. Just because there is a decision made not to do it now does not mean that the situation would not arise again. So the decision to keep the athletic as well as gifted programs was made behind closed doors. The council only saying they will keep those programs definitely through the 2015 through 2016 school year. This is a story we will continue to follow. We'll bring you updates as they become available. Working for you, Jarita Patterson, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Jarita.